This is Bombarda from the IRA and FX Sabres forums. Um, this is a Graflex Sabre, which I was sent to do a little bit of work on. It was already installed. Um, I think it was Lamb that did it, Watchmaker Lamb, that built it originally. It's actually got a um, Reveal Core um, crystal chamber. Which is inside, which I'll show you in a bit. This is, as far as I can make out, it's a genuine Graflex with all genuine parts from what I've looked at. The um, engraving on the clamp, it looks like a genuine clamp as well. It's very deep, it's not like lightly engraved like on the replica ones. The, um, the work that I had to do on this when it was originally sent to me, it was having problem with the swings, the sensitivity was all off, it was doing random swings, so I had to sort out all the SD card. Um, the other thing I did was I put in a slightly better battery pack into it, with a give it a little bit of a better run time, as it was only a small battery pack that's in this. Um, the Graflex clamp was quite badly tarnished, I mean, it's got a nice shine on it now, but it had quite a bit of buffing work on the buffing wheel, done to bring the shine back up because it was so badly tarnished um, as far as I know it's genuine genuine Graflex I've looked, looked inside and it's definitely plated brass it isn't made of aluminium it's not made of steel it's plated brass um, other key features are the, the screw on the underside obviously it's also got a rivet and not a screw in the bunny ears. There's also the little dimples on the inside of the clamps for the bunny ears. So they're, they're all the telltale signs which I've looked at. The switch mechanism also looks correct from what I've looked at on the RPF forum. And the holder that holds it in as well. I mean, it's got tarnishing. You can see it's starting to, to rust there as well. So as far as I can tell, it's um, real. The other thing is the engraving is nice and deep on the the rear end on the pommel, which you don't normally get with the replica ones. It's it's never as nice as that. So I'll just pause it a second, then I'll open it up so that you can see the chassis. Okay, so this is the rear part of the chassis. And you can tell it was made quite a while ago now by the amount of scuffs and scratches that's in the housing. Basically the board and the battery and obviously the speaker are housed in the rear. It's got a 2 watt base speaker fitted in it. It's part of the chassis reveal there and the other part is on the inside. This is hard taking this out with one hand. And there you have crystal chamber. Oh, that's the other thing I didn't mention. It's actually a lead string blade, which is why you've got the pins and no LED there for obvious reasons. But for an older install and crystal chamber build, it's quite nice. I'll just pause it again and then I'll put it back together. Oh, and while I'm at it, I'll wipe off the residue from the brass o that I've just used. Okay, so the kill key is on the underside in the rear. Basically, you see the crystal chamber lighting up. Power button is there. Also. It's also got accent lighting around this part of the chamber. This is the auxiliary.
The other thing I did was change some sound fonts because he wasn't happy with the um, stock sound fonts on it. So I put a few different sound fonts on for him. Accessing Imperial Records. Had to fix fights because fights wasn't um, working properly. Rogue. I'll put Rogue on. You have become a far greater Jedi than I could ever hope to be. I believe that one was already on there. Vader. I'll put Vader's, the latest Vader version on there. <laughs> That's one of his own, which is a Call of Duty Zombies font. <laughs> Obviously you all know Link's Predator. <laughs> and back again. You have become a fa- Beater. Beater. See the sensitivity is nice now, it's not getting any random swings or anything. Accessing Imperial Records. You have become a far greater Jedi. You have become a far greater Jedi than I could ever hope I know to what be. This is now. It should be Yoda's Dagobah. Yep. But if anything to say about it, I am. Thanks for watching.